and welcome to another Machine Monday. We've noticed a lot of challenges with, with many of our customers that assemble low volume, high complexity products like this inverter. Some of the key things that they have to get right are making sure that they've assembled uh, the, the components correctly, specifically the harnesses. Any mistake in this can obviously cause a malfunction and in some, in some extreme cases also uh, create a fire. Also, uh, there's an increasing demand for traceability, so to know which product was made, which are the subcomponents that were installed, um, as well as where that product has ended up. So, you know, full traceability of the manufacturing process is now becoming even more important, even for household inverters like this one. Some of the other challenges that our customers are experiencing is obviously high turnover of staff. So you can train somebody up to actually, you know, assemble this inverter. It's pretty complex. Uh, but then they leave the organization and then you have to train somebody else up and the consistency of that is becoming more and more challenging. So we try to address a lot of these challenges with our Odin workstation system which consists of a digital worker guidance as well as an AI enabled uh, computer vision system that tracks the, the full process. So I've uh, been through this process twice with uh, my colleagues explaining it to me. Uh, so this would be my first attempt at building this after being shown how to build it twice and I'm going to purely use the computer vision and worker guidance to actually guide me through the process. Um, also, uh, one important thing is um, the system can be set up to uh, display multiple languages. Uh, you, you, you basically do that setup right at the beginning. And so depending on what language your operators are in, they can actually choose the language that they want to read the work instructions in. Scan the barcode. So this is a unique barcode of this unique uh, product. So all data will be attached to that barcode ID number. Um, First step is actually measuring uh, the bus bar with the vernier. So I can grab the vernier, go to the parts bin, pick the bus bar, measure that 16.04. So I can enter in the value, sixteen point zero four. Confirm, uh, and because that's in range, it allows me to continue to the next step. If it wasn't in range, if I picked the wrong bus bar, it would have actually stopped the process. Um, the next step is uh, fit the bus bar in the correct position. It's telling me where to do that. It's right over here. Uh, press the phantom button. Oh. Uh, it obviously failed it because I haven't actually put the bolts in. So it's actually showing, showing me a mistake that I made. Grab the bolts, bus bar bolts, fit these in. Uh, now I can press the virtual phantom button. It's detected the bolts and allows me to go to the next posi position. Now it's telling me to pick up the bolting tool and actually tighten uh, the left hand bolt. Uh, and also over here is a computer vision uh, system that uh, only enables the bolting tool when it's in the right position. So as you can see, it's completely disabled. When I go into position, the flashing light's going to go blue, and then that is an indication that it's enabled. Uh, it enabled, I pulled the trigger, and it uh, tightened the bolt. And if I go back to the same bolt, you can see it's now no longer enabled. Um, I have to go to the correct position. There you go. Uh, and it's now allowed me to go to the next stage. And this is one of the, the uh, coolest part of, of the system is actually now guiding me on how to fit a harness. And this harness has got four connection points, as you can see, indicated by the four dots. So I'm going to get the harness. Um, and I can see the ideal position over here of where the harness needs to be. Uh, and the computer vision is actually going to um, and make sure that I actually fit it in the, in the right position. So. Um, and every time I fit the, fir the, the harness in the right place, uh, it should indicate green. There we go. So those two are good. Um, I need to fit this last one. Uh, I actually need to get the screw. I forgot to get that for the last position. All four are good. Confirm with the phantom button. Uh, now, very similar to before, I can take the, the tightening tool and actually tighten on the bolt. 
So it's completely disabled until I go into the right position. Detects that, I can switch it on, and it then uh, switches off once it's tightened. Similar to before, it's another two-point harness that needs to be connected. This one, again, it's showing me the ideal position of where that harness should be. Perfect. Position, uh, phantom button, sorry. Then a third harness, this is a small harness, cable three, and it's right over here. Detected both positions. And then uh, the back harness. Good. Uh, now it's telling me to take the red battery terminal. Uh, let's say I take the wrong one, I take the black one, put it in the red position. Doesn't allow me to continue. Uh, if I put it in the, the black one in the black position, also doesn't allow me to continue. It's obviously expecting me to uh, assemble in the right position or right sequence. Uh, so that's done, position uh, phantom button. Now to take the, the black one. It's now printed out a pass label. And I now need to stick the pass label to the side. And scan. And it's passed. Um, and this is an example of, of how we've used this advanced technology that is typically used on automotive production lines to assemble a highly complex inverter system on a single station. Let me know if you're interested in uh, learning more about how to do this in your factory. Here's another Machine Monday.